This video contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the outset and throughout. It's lads versus lasses in this week's Geordie Shaw, with Charlotte getting the blame for causing a house divide. Here's our roundup of Season 8, Episode 4. Everybody might be pointing the finger at Charlotte, but the lads' decision to dump Vicky and Marnie was hardly a recipe for happy families. Let's take a look at the double dump. Thank you for the second day. She's been really nice. Do you think we'll be third one? Me and Aaron had a really good time on the first date. Second date's going well, so logical conclusion would be third date. Yes? I think they're probably not. Because we get on well as mates, so I think, I think that's a bit of fun. All right, mate, I fucking get it. Third date's off the cards. I'm hardly going to be crying at me pillow the night. Fucking hell. Me and Molly have had a wicked time playing bowling, but I feel like it's the right time to tell her that I'm never, ever going to go on a third date. It was sex and fun at the start, but I want to pie things off. What are you doing? Do a fucking child for a bit. If you think it's going to be awkward with Charlotte, then... then... I don't know, it's to do with Charlotte. Right. I don't want to happen with you again. I don't want you to ice skate from the girls. So Gabby's telling us that me and him should cool things off so I can spend time with the girls. Basically, he's pied us. Well, I don't want to see you or uh, not involved in the doing things and blah, blah, because of me and you. I'm absolutely fuming, but if my priority is fitting in with the girls, I never want to go through what I went through last time. And as for trying to hit the team without them, that's just asking for trouble. We'll just see if we can have a lads night up night. So is that, is that a firm custard for the lasses then, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, you fucking tackle. Aaron and Gary both pied me and Vicky today. He's bound to pull on the lads night out. How it's going to make us feel, I'm not quite sure. So, what the hell's going on? Me and Molly are just getting served up an absolute pie. <laughs> Why? Why? What's, What's happened? Come Stop. on. <laughs> Wait, you need to fill us in, man. <laughs> Fuck the lads. Where do they get off telling us they're having a lads night out and we're staying in? I'm not fucking having this. We're going out. We're going out. We're just not fucking telling them. Yeah. Fuck them. So it's hardly surprising that they got cop <laughs> Surprise, fucking surprise. In come Marnie and fucking Vicky like queen bees and spoil the whole night. I fucking knew it. Gary sat there with a the girl at each side of them. And he won't even look at us. If the situation is awkward, he's making it much worse. But it was during the launch of Tash on Tours that Gaz noticed things were getting a bit weird. Yeah. It's, it's like a shot at the ring with them. She needs everyone under her like, spell so she can coordinate them and run uh, them. The only person she hasn't got on her team, on her side, is mine. And you've just got to laugh at Aaron's good intentions, cos this was never going to end well. Aaron has been in this house five minutes. I don't know who the fuck he thinks he is. Charlotte coming in, having to collide with you and Gary saying that you were going to get in the money and Vicky. But that is what made it awkward. Not Charlotte. Holly can defend Charlotte all she wants, but it's obvious things have changed since you come into the house and they've changed for the worse. Yes, yes, but why? Why? I can't believe the way the girls spoke to us. Now there's definitely a divide, you fucking tramp. Aaron, have you actually watched Geordie Shaw? Because that was Holly's best mate you were slagging off. And you got told. Luckily, there's nothing like a tash on party to bring people back together. Neck on! We're not normally good at our jobs, but tash on tours, we are absolutely smashing. <laughs> It's only fair that sometimes I do have to take one for my team. And when I spot a good-looking, handsome stranger standing there without a kissing sticker, I just have to neck on. There's no point even trying to compete with Vicky. She's got the sluttiest mouth in the northeast. And moving on from touch-up tours, it's not necessarily a case that all's well that ends well. Nice of you to fucking turn up, like. In walk Charlotte and Holly. But it's about time these two turned up. Hi, everyone. Me and Holly get back to the house and the atmosphere is amazing. Everyone's laughing, drinking, playing ping pong. It's like I've stepped into a different house. Does this actually mean that the drama's forgotten about? Is this not going to get brought up again? I highly doubt it. And we'll leave you with this final thought from Holly. Now, I don't want to be crawling into a little black hole and not knowing where it leads to. I know the boys do it every night, but not me. 
Holly, you've changed. Go to the MTV website for more exclusive clips from this week's episode and tune in next week when new lad Carl makes his big entrance. Yeah. Yeah.